Well, hello there. I'm Sandy Alnock. I am an artist and I'm going to do some zippity doo dah blending. I'm going to speed this up today because it's summer and nobody wants to watch videos in the summer. So you get to just kind of get inspired maybe to blend some colors. These are the ones I'm using from the Faber-Castell Polychromo set. And I'll do several kinds of blending. I'll talk about that as I work. And I'm also going to be using a sharpener that's brand new to me, sent to me by the Statler company for reasons that I can't share yet. But I tried this thing and I was like, holy cow, I could stab myself. It's so sharp, which made me very happy. I was looking through my old pictures from my trips that I took to Puerto Rico. And they had palm trees out there and they had coconuts in some of them. And I was fascinated with that. I had never seen an actual coconut tree before. Little coconuts that look like they were in bunches like bananas are. And so I had taken pictures of them in various locations on the island. And I noticed something that the coconut trees on the south end of the island had a lean to them like they had a curve to the tree trunk and they leaned out toward the sea and then the ones on the north side also had a curve to them but they also leaned out to the sea which meant they leaned the opposite direction and I had always thought that palm trees leaned and had different things going because of the wind like because it's windy out there in the middle of the ocean there's a lot of wind there and it's not because of that because I had to google it and you know me, I Google everything. And what I found was they lean that way because the way they've propagated for centuries is to drop their coconuts in the water. And then their coconuts like drift away to another island and go and propagate themselves. So there's your little factoid for the day. I'm using a whole bunch of different blending methods here. Blending solution that is applied with a blending stump, blending solution applied with a cotton ball and doing the cotton ball thing with the light, any of the light browns in the bark because I can't find a cream pencil around here. Uh, mine got really teeny tiny and my local art store is just out of cream. And no matter how many times I say you need to order some cream pencils so I can get one, they have not done so yet. So I am making do with my blending methods to try to lighten one of the other browns. And the rest of this is just all different kinds of greens. There's cool greens, there's warm greens, dark greens, light greens, because these palm fronds, when they're out in the sunshine, they can actually look very yellow. Sometimes, I guess maybe they are yellow in terms of, you know, the plant itself, but they get really bright yellow. And then in the shadow areas, they get really significantly dark, like blackish dark. I was trying not to have to actually use any black in this corner, but the photos that I was using for this, it was really, really, really dark. So I did have to get a black pencil out, but that also did something else to help my drawing, which was to make the coconuts look lighter. Because when I first did the coconuts, I got overexcited and I thought I overdid the shadows and I wanted them to feel lighter than they were. So as soon as I added the black, it really made a big difference. A couple times when I had an area of the palm fronds that that could handle it, like they were close enough together that they could deal with it, I used the cotton ball with the blending solution on it to kind of just do a couple of swipes over the paper to blend some of that, not trying to, you know, make it blendy blendy, but just to pull it together and not leave so much white paper in between in the darker areas. But a lot of the different colors that I'm using are so that I can get the different layers of the palm fronds going different directions because the palm fronds actually do blow in the wind and they blow different directions because of the wind and that means you get some of them kind of flipping over top of each other. There's really cool effects that they have and I might do some more uh, palm tree stuff just because I found myself fascinated looking through my old photos again. And it was fun to get back to using some colored pencil because I've been on watercolor for a month with, with World Watercolor Month. And this was just like a little respite. So I know this was quick, but it is done. And I will be back with some slower work next week. We're going to study 
perspective in nature. And I think you're going to like it, even if you hate perspective. I hope this is going to help to make it easier for you. So I will see you next week. In the meantime, get out there and sit under a palm tree in the shade because, you know, it's summer. Don't waste these lazy days. And I'm going to try to do a little bit of that myself this weekend. I will talk to you guys next week. Have a good one. Bye-bye.